Oh, this is a type of society we're living in that's right, these no good mega preachers that's robbing you out your money. They don't care about God. They care about your money. Amen. Amen. They never said no man to focus on your money. No God sent a man to focus on your soul to get on God's side and come off the streets of America acting like a fool. And they have turned out to me the back what 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 the preachers done and they have turned unto me the back what the churchgoers done they have turned unto me the back oh they turned their back on god years ago that's right craft dollar did it td jakes did it amen benny hinn ben done it joe longstreet he do it with a smile on his face that's right that's right and they've turned the back to god when you turn your back on god you get an attitude that you really don't care what the Bible says and they have turned it to me the back and what I'm not the face God wanted your face what you mean he wants you to face him that's it that's it that's what God what he wants you to face him that's it what do you mean approach him approach him pursue him that's it are you listening to what I'm telling you and they have turned unto me the back hey 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 you that are here, amen. Have you turned your back on God? That's it. Ask yourself, that's it. Have you turned your back on God? Is that why you in the club now? Hmm. Have you turned your back on God, woman? That you wanna be a pole dancer and you love that pole and you love that money and you love flaunting your half naked self in a bunch of perverted men? That's right who put a little cheap dollar down your thong because that's all they think you're worth. That's it. Go ahead, man. What? They have turned unto me the back. They have turned the back and not the face. Is that you? Mm? Beautiful. My Lord, my Lord. Is that you, fella? Have you turned your back on God? That's it. That you drive around at night picking up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That's right. Have you turned your back on God, parents? Father, that you sodomize your son that's right and rape your own daughter the nakedness of thy son's daughter he said you turn what they have turned unto me the back glory to God glory to God amen you multi-millionaires that got merchandise on the market right have you turned your back on God so much until you willingly ignored the fact that you got folks overseas working sewing and sweatshops at gunpoint that's right just to make mass production of your clothing line that's right that much that you have a five and six and seven and eight year old child at gunpoint making your merchandise. Amen, amen. You see what make this program so different? Yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost said, cry loud. That's right, hallelujah, hallelujah. Cry loud, that's it. Thank God we're not scared to cry loud. That's right. They have turned unto me the back and not the face. Amen, you old weak politicians. Go ahead, man. All this child trafficking taking place in America. Black market for children. That's right. That's right. You old drug dealers talking about some black lives matter. Black lives don't matter to you if you're selling drugs to your own community. Amen. Use a black life liar. That's right. That's right. In the world, you're going to be marching in a black life demonstration and your whole community's got your drugs. That's right. You're selling drugs to a family. Mother's just been buried from your product. Sons are buried from your product. You walk around riot by shooting. Hey, now you want to participate in Black Lives Matter. Use a liar. That's right. Preach it, brother. They have turned unto me the back. They have turned unto me the back. Goes for any hypocrite Black Lives Matter here. Go ahead, man. There ain't no Black Lives Matter to you and you out here gang banging. Amen. Black Lives Matter and you raping a black woman. That's right. Preach it, brother. Preach it. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Are you getting what I'm telling you? They have turned unto me the back. You turned your back on God and not the face. Amen. They are opportunists. Oh, yes. That's what they are. Oh, yes. If they don't really believe nothing. They're nothing but opportunists. That's right. But glory to God when that day come, when the great Jehovah, wait, God himself, God of Abraham, God that made the mountain tremble, 
That's right. In the days of Moses, glory take God. Will you see him standing in the heavens and you're running through alleys and neighborhoods, falling down steps, trying to get your pants on? Well, you got your needle in your arm looking up and it's no illusion. It's really God. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's no illusion. That's right. Hallelujah. It's really God and really him. That God you cuss, that God you make mockery of, that God that Congress passed bills and try to belittle his law, your past bills, the blast feed God's law, go ahead. Your past bills do constitute hate for God's law, go ahead. When God come, he come, hallelujah. Oh, thank God you're gonna remember, oh yeah, go to your church, now you go to church. Oh yes, go to any church that you choose, that's right. But when the Lord comes and that stuff is not lined up with the Bible, hell, hallelujah, hell, that's right, hell, that's right, amen. But God don't care who you think you are in the guise of God, you're less than nothing, less than nothing. And I meet men and women think they all that, they all that, they something, they something. And I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. All nations before him. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 40, in verse 17, I want to show you your net worth. That's right. Show you your value. You got to thank you so much. That's right. Amen. Thank you, God's gift to women. And thank that because men fall out on you. Flies fall out on dumb. Amen. Amen. The streets until your parents change all the traffic lights in your city. The moment you come out on your porch, all the traffic lights turn green. And when you come out, all hummingbirds and bees and scorpions and insects stand on your steps and form an insecticide choir. Amen. And the crickets start cricketing and the bees start beezing. And the moment they stop this election, when you step down on your first step, all the flowers open up. And all you hear is, and a bird just fly by and just say, Hi there, lady. Glory to God. That's right. Who give a damn talking? Amen. You don't walk around and thank you all that. I show you what you are. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. Hey, God, for you rich Democrats and you rich Republicans. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. All right. All nations before him, all nations before God are as nothing, are as nothing. And they are counted to him and they are counted in the eyes of God. Less than nothing. They're nothing and vanity. You can't get no lower than that. No lower than that. We would say you're nothing. That's right. God said I can do better. That's right. God said I can do better than you not being nothing. Less than nothing. You're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Only God can come up with that. That's right. We wouldn't even think that far. No, we are less than nothing. Less than nothing. So you let her out here living together, not married, drinking and smoking and gambling and just going to church on Sunday as a camouflage just to get over your guilt. That's right. Party all weekend, Friday and Saturday. Then you go to church on Sunday and hear old Reverend Chicken Wing spit and holler with the organ playing behind him and tell you, go ahead and you do that. Ha, and don't do that. Ha, you have to look back at him and say, how do you do? That's right. And you call that preaching. Amen. That ain't preaching. That's noise. That's noise. Amen. Let's do it. Let me come in there with Bible. See how many, how you can get out of that preaching. Amen. He won't say nothing here. He gets so uncomfortable when the hot seat of the gospel get into him, he'll be squirming on that seat like a pancake on a frying pan. That's right. All right, son, come on, William. Let's back in Isaiah 55 and verse seven, and that's the wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to forsake your way? Are you gonna stay in that church? You hold your little cheap ministerial position. Hmm, sitting on the woman preaching you a man. You said you the head of your house, you the head at home. Do you but now you're the tail of that church. That's right. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? The Bible plainly says the head of every woman is the man. So here you are, the head at home. But then when you go to church, you're under mother, Gretel. That's right. Under her, under her. And you get her spirit. You and your wife coming in the house. That, that's right. That's why you men now want to wear a man bun, hair long like a woman. Ain't no man should be doing like this. No, 
Look at society, young men. Society is trying to make you more and more feminine and you don't see nothing wrong with it. Why you think society made these skin tight pants? Go ahead, go ahead, look at yourself. Society is making you look like a pervert. Society is stripping you of your masculinity. Preach it, brother, preach it. And you mean to tell me you can't see that? Preach it, man, hallelujah. Now you both got both ears in it, yeah. Head jingling like a jingle bell, that, that's right, that's right. Yeah, like a baby's rattle, yeah. Young men, young men, pants hanging down showing your behind. Oh yeah. Like you's a male prostitute. Amen. Young men. Amen. Amen. That's right. And ain't no real man advertise his booty. That's right. Am I right, Boston? That's right. You ain't no man. Not a man. That's not a man. He ain't you. A father that got a little son. Yeah. That's not a man. He ain't you a father and got a little son. Yeah. Look how exact you are to him. Oh, yes. I Look at what you call your son when you introduce him. Yeah, this is my dog. What? This is my dog. You instilling in your son to be a filth eater. That's what a dog is. That's right. Or if you don't call him that, this is my pimp. You instilling in your son to be a womanizer. That's right. That's right. You're a dog. My Lord, my Lord. You're a pimp. God said he made man. That's it. So what are you? Your booty showing, walking, long hair, earrings, flapping, eye, eye fake. You wanna be a woman so bad? Yeah, that's truth, that's true. Sprinting on your sister's powder? Yes, yes, using her bobby pins. That's right, trying to be feminine, trying to be looking foolish. Trying to be more feminine than your mama and your sister put together, yeah. That's true. Going to the ladies' dressing room. Yeah. And society condoning. You know, there was a transgender. It was on the news last week. You know, got his hair all cut and changed the clothes and whatnot. Got the hormone shots. Got the fake breast assist. And they put him in a woman's prison. He felt as though he... And he got two inmates pregnant. My Lord. What was the conclusion? Still was a man. That's right. That's right. That, that was the conclusion. It still was a man. That's right. That's right. So they decided to move him out to prison. What you gonna do with him? Maybe they'll send him to the prison where his kind is, men. Men, look at the young men of Boston and America. The American government is condoning this madness. And when we preach against it, they say, I'm a homosexual hater. Hater. No, when God love it, then I love it. That's right. If you can get God to change his mind, I'll change my mind. That's right. Until God changes his mind, I ain't changing mine. No way. And for what I can see, God ain't changing his. He ain't changing his. And for what I can see, I ain't changing mine. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear this? Back in Isaiah 55 and verse seven, church is not a game. Church is not a racket church. Supposed to show you the sincerity of the ways of God, the thanking of God, not this entertainment industry that have took over the church. That's right. Have you take note the so-called entertainers out here that's making movies, the celebrities, they do everything on the screen and then say unrighteous man, forsake the way he think and let him return unto the Lord. Have you left the Lord? Boston, look at your life. Everybody in here, whether you a sinner or not, you're living by God's permission and by God's mercy. That's right. In fact, God been better to you than you've been to your old self. That's right. God has God. There are times that some of you have been shot. Only reason why you're alive because God wasn't ready to take you. You've been stabbed and almost bled out. You're OD'd. That's right. Got drunk, crashed. Only reason why you're not dead because God don't want to clock you out yet. That's right. Still giving your hard-headed, stubborn self time to mend your ways and change your life. And you walk around here. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Pastor Jennings, but I ain't down with that church thing. Oh, you ain't got to be down with church, but you will be down in hell. 
I don't believe in no hell, Pastor Jennings. You tripping, you tripping dog, dog you tripping. I don't believe in no hell. Uh, okay, you may not believe that it's getting dark outside. Don't believe. Don't stop the sun from setting, no believe. Don't say that, how do we get so educated? Yet education made up of food. That's right with that. You know that I've met people don't believe in God on the flip side. They believe in the devil. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know why they hang with him. They love him. They love him. Devil don't speak against what they doing. No. The one thing about the human family. They never want nobody to speak out against what they're doing. Like a child, a child do not want mama and father to chastise them for what they doing. That's right. And as a result of such, the government said, don't beat your child. Don't beat him. Don't chastise. Just let the child do what they want. Let the child spit at mama. Let the child spit at mama and cuss their father. Let the child put his middle finger up at mom and daddy. And that's right. Let the child say, F you mama. And their mama say, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Where did you learn such a thing, you fool? That's a fool. For me, that's cute. You better give me the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30 and add verse 11. Read quick. There's a generation that curseth their father. Yeah. You see all this Bible? Hey Amen. When I came up, man, if we dreamt about talking back to our parents somehow or another, they came in our dream and got us. That's right. That's right. Young generation today, your children cuss you out. You can go down the neighborhoods on a spring and a nice summer day. It can be 12, 1, 2 in the morning. Children not even one years old, two years old, running down the street in a diaper, not even supervised. That's right. Mama and daddy just sitting out there drinking and smoking and playing cards. Young fellows having all these kids and won't take care of none of them. And you want to be respected as a man. Even roaches take care of their kids. That's right. Ain't no man because you have sex. Roaches have sex. Why you think it's so hard for you to get rid of? When you turn the lights on, you broke up their saxophony. They're running. They want to know what you're doing. Brad, you a man and you can't take care of your kids? You're no good heathen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? There is a generation that curses their father. You're no good heathen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? There is a generation that curses their father and they do not bless their mother. They have smacked their mother. They'll slap their mother and pull a gun out on their father. That's true. Listen. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, self-righteous, amen. Don't want to be corrected, that's right. Don't want to tell, be told nothing. There is a generation here. I know where you're going to live with your parents, Rufus. They ain't going to tell them, well, look, you can't tell me what time to come in. If you don't want no rules, get out and get your own place. That's right. Your mother and father tell you, look, try to be here by 12 midnight. Now, if you're working that night, that's different. But you're going to tell your mother, hey, look, I'm a grown man. Then act grown, get your own place, get out. Then you can come in eight days later if you want. I want you young people to hear the old troublemaker. I want to show you how some of you ain't even got common sense. You bragging you a grown man, you ain't working. You just sit around on a computer all day, smoke, get high, drink, party, make babies, and then begging different girls for money. That's right. And yet you talk about you a man, you make the word bum even look bad. Amen. Amen. But Pastor Jennings, I got it like that. Where's the pride? A grown man got to live off a girl and they use a bunch of other girls to get money from them. And you proud about it? Use a disgrace to the word, man. That's right. And I tell you, if some, like I said before, if some of these women can wind back the clock, they wouldn't even stop at you. They trip and hit their heads. Listen, back in Proverbs 30, verse 11, there was a generation that cursed their father. There's a generation. See this old fashioned hard preaching, the kind of preaching that mom Paul used to tell you about. They don't want that. They want TV snakes and Creflo O Penny. That's right. And Joel Osteen, the Joker, the laughing Joker preacher. That's right. And Joel all statement joke at the laugh and Joker preacher. That's right. That's what they want to laugh and joke. A preacher he met and it, that generation that processed their father custody pop and it was not blessed their mother, but a generation of murder. Their father murdered mother with no conscience. That's true. And instead they eat a sandwich. 
what apparently on the floor bleeding out that something with it got a hurricane with young boys until they mom and I was late at the now rate watching the now rate and then done a great but I still have been pissed off there is a general rate a general rate that person to follow up while we do it every time that's right every separate cost aboard while you found it would be a little bit yet you don't frown at CNN or Nesmic or Fox when this stuff come on the news that's right what I'm preaching is happening every day amen these young boys out here murdering each other like it's a game and the young girls are doing the same thing that's right and then go to some church and join some choir tell them you got the Holy Ghost you love the devil amen you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain we either go and serve God or serve the devil one of the two you can't do both no this moderate church thank you you can do both listen there is a generation that crushes their father and does not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. They're self-righteous and they don't want to be told nothing. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their laws. Oh, how arrogant this generation is. I heard of a case in Philadelphia. I think one boy was 15. No, one boy was 16 and the other was 13 and they carjacked a family, amen. And the 13 year old had the gun and the 15 year old had the gun. And so the 13 year old, it made him, gave him a kind of a high and made the parents get out the car and rape the wife with and wanted to hurt and dare the husband to do something so they can kill him. Rape the wife right in front of 13 years old, chasing other little boys in school, telling them, I want to rape you in elementary school, my Lord. And the government of America is part of the blame. That's right, because you are telling these kids you got another alternative. You don't have to accept the fact you a boy. That's right. You don't have to accept the fact you a girl. Yeah, you can be other. Other what? Other what? I wanted to be good in case I got any so-called others in here. That's right. You ain't no other, no other. You either a boy or a girl, a man or a woman. Well, Pastor Jennings, what is it if I feel this inside of me? That's the devil in you. That's the devil. Ain't no woman in you. No, the devil in you all the way. That gives you a feeling that contradicts what God made you. That's right. That's right. That's what it is. You didn't come here to see Pastor Jennings switching the pulpit. No. Imagine if I were to came in here, short dress, halter, pocketbook on my shoulder my Lord, and still talking with this heavy voice that I had. That's right. Well, I mean, what would you do with eyes? Be drunk, be like a cartoon. Them eyes just go out and they come back in. That's right. How did our men get so mentally warped where you accept this trash, you a man? Oh yeah, you're supposed to be a man. That's it. You hang with a bunch of homosexuals. Ain't nothing wrong with it, Pastor Jennings. God is love. I agree God is love, but that's not the definition of love. No, that's not the definition of love. Give me the book of Leviticus fast. Amen. Amen. All these women out here, you don't even know how to do wrong the right way, right in the book of Leviticus chapter eight. And there's a right way to do wrong. Yeah, the Bible is against fornication. Yes, it is. But you can't even do wrong. Right, right. That's right. You don't smoke a cigarette by putting the burnt part to your mouth. That's right and then wonder why your tongue keep getting burnt, you fool. You fool, you put the filter part. Who in the world get a quart of liquor, put it in a brown paper bag, and then put the bottle up to their mouth and the top is still on it? That's right, you gotta take the cap off so you can get cirrhosis of the liver. That, that's right. Now listen to this. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and at verse 22, Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22, I want to say to the government of America and the entire educational system of the world, you're going to stand before God for promoting this homosexual acceptance. That's right. And teaching this lying curriculum. Every teacher under the sound of my voice, don't you bow to no school district in your city or your country. And when they try to force you to call some child a other, a other what? Other what? You either a boy or a girl. That's it. Now, it's time to tackle these forms. Let him decide. Listen, if that young man is uncertain about his identity, hey buddy, if you're unsure, take my advice. Strip down, stand in front of a full length mirror. That's it. 
take a good look. You're a man. Now, put your underwear back on. Case closed. The king has spoken. He saw what I tried to convey. Make yourself one of the X-Files. That's right. Make yourself one of the X-Files. Not here, not here, but out here. Hear me loud and clear. In Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22, it states, Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Sometimes when I preach like this, YouTube might flag this message and ask for a rating. How do you rate this message? Excellent, good, not so good, unsure. I always rate it excellent. I give it the highest star every time. The highest star, amen. This kind of preaching may offend some folks because what I'm addressing might be present in their families, right? But just because it's in your family doesn't make it right. That's right. If I preach against rape and you've been a victim, does that mean I shouldn't preach it? My duty as a preacher is to protect you and watch out for predators, even within the church. Predators in the church, that's right.